Fair warning, this video is a whinge, and if you're afflicted with car blindness and think you're a persecuted minority because you sit in traffic, you should probably click away now. So, why does Brisbane treat cyclists and pedestrians like second-class citizens? There is, quite rightly, a focus when it comes to cycling infrastructure on safety and separation from motor traffic to encourage more people to ride bicycles and swap trips they would otherwise take with a car. But an important factor to encouraging people to swap four engine powered wheels for two human powered ones that is often overlooked is convenience. Being made to wait a long time at traffic lights is frustrating, especially when it seems cars get two phases to travel through in the time you've waited for an opportunity to cross. Wait almost three minutes to cross and get five seconds of green. Bikeways in car-centric cities like Brisbane are often designed by people who have designed roads for the worst possible driver. The drivers who pay no attention to anybody else and need to be babied through the process of getting from A to B safely. So cyclists have to wait for empty pedestrian crossings rather than be trusted to negotiate the space with pedestrians like we are expected to do on the ubiquitous shared paths that exist across the city. In fairness, Brisbane has invested in some fantastic cycleways in the last decade, with the Bicentennial Bikeway, the V1 Velaway and North Brisbane Bikeways being standouts. The Gabba Bikeway where this was filmed was the first of its kind on a major road so traffic engineers were, and still are, on a learning curve. The next step on that learning journey is to have the courage to prioritise cyclists and pedestrians ahead of car movements when delivering projects like this. The courage to accept that it's okay if cars have to wait for bikes or people walking. But I'm not quite done whinging yet. At major intersections, we watch as the light sequences and design ensures a few single occupant cars can get through whichever way they're turning in a single movement, while we wait for two or sometimes three stages to make our move. City Council will deny that cyclists are treated like second class citizens. The wait makes me think otherwise. We're moving now, right? Ah. Yeah, nah. Still waiting. Mostly for people doing U-turns, not even turning into this street. <sighs> if cities like Brisbane want to see modes shift from car to bike or scooter or walking, then it has to start prioritising those modes of transport higher than cars. Program lights and intersections so if the main flow for cyclists is two crossings, they can get through on one phase. Add sensor loops to detect cyclists approaching intersections and trigger the lights to change before they get there. Add in extra demand driven crossing phases for pedestrians and cyclists when buttons or sensors are triggered. 
Won't this slow down cars? Perhaps. But if it encourages more people to leave their car at home and ride, then that will reduce traffic and make it better for all modes of transport. And that's what a new world city should be trying to do.